starts off with a nice little twisty corkscrew. Soil here is really grippy, it looks like it's not, but it really does bite. It's quite sandy, but it digs in nicely. Pick up some pace, you turn right at this power line into the first quite rocky section. You can just go straight in the middle of that. There's some little steps. In good condition, the trail builders here do a really good job of keeping up the thing, even though these trails do get eroded quite quickly when you have storms. You often do by the coast here in Finale. If you know this trail from the past, you might recognise a slightly new section here where it drops down left into this nice little chute. I'm going to slow down a little bit. It's kind of steep. There's a couple of little rocks which will catch you out if you're not careful. That's on the e-bike, it's a little bit harder to slow down when you need to. But it is good for these little tiny bits of pedaling that you have to do every now and then. Oh yeah, rocky, rough, just that lovely bit of gnarly flow. Gotta be careful of clipping pedals and bars on this, it's quite tight in places. And a slight little pedal here. Before we drop into one of the fast sections of the track. Pop up inside here, definitely more fun than chandering through the rocks on the outside. Lovely little view, so much time to look at that. Ah! Definitely a good idea to keep your tyre pressures up down here, or at least have some decent inserts in. Just bottomed out a little bit there. iterations of this trail over the years. One of the best bits was a few years ago. We put in this nice new section here. Quite tight to get into. But adds some real good value to the ascent. Some nice twisty turns. Gotta watch out for these little drops here. Definitely rollable. But you wouldn't want to jump into them with any speed. Because uh it would definitely hit the deck hard. Last couple of corners now, and then we're out. And you can do the obligatory skid through the trees. Ah! 